How's it going, everybody? Today, I wanted to give my quick thoughts on uh, the cycloid because I am a longtime Tay Flipper owner at this point. Uh, I absolutely love the thing, and Ethan is a longtime cycloid owner. So uh, now that we're hanging out, we've both gotten to try both of them. He made a video about his thoughts on the Tay Flipper, so I think it's only fair I make a video with my thoughts about the cycloid. Uh, basically, I have kind of a few positives, a few negatives. Um, we'll start with the negatives, actually, just to get it out of the way so I can talk about what I actually like about it. My main issue with the cycle, not even an issue, but like my main reason um, that I might like something like the Tay Flipper more is just the cycloid kind of comparatively to the Tay Flipper for my tastes, tastes specifically. Um, I think it's just not as interesting, I guess. It's not as, like, fun, um, to just carry around and, like, flip around with me. Um, but that's really it. When it comes down to, um, uh, how I feel about them, there's honestly more positives than negatives about the Cycloid because compared to something like a Squiddy, it just blows it out of the water. Like, it's not even close. The Cycloid is... Mar like miles better than like a Squiddy B is and especially like an OG Squiddy um, So mostly that's really the only issue I have with it uh, but positives wise uh, The main thing I like about it is that the handles themselves out of all the 3d printed valve songs that I've felt Which actually ew, only happens to be like the tape flipper and my own stuff that I've been printing They are by far the cleanest feeling handles um, they are beautifully rounded, kind of like all the way, uh, all the way around on the bottom especially is important because uh, on the tape flipper, sometimes after flipping it for a while or even just picking it right up, you can kind of notice that it feels a little, a little, sh not even sharp, but like it feels less, it doesn't feel as smooth as the, the cycloid does. Um, the cycloid in its handle design just feels super smooth, uh, super soft in the hands which uh, is actually a good thing. I know soft in the Balasong community probably isn't really um, something you want to hear, but um, it actually feels really nice in the hands, really smooth, really nice to hold and flip for long periods of time. Uh, the pivots, the... Uh, what are these things called? Bearings. The bearing pivots are definitely nice. Um, I don't think they really, um, like, completely are, like, uh, like a huge revolutionary change. Uh, but they definitely are nice, and 3D printed balisongs, honestly, bearing should be a little bit more common, uh, because, um, well, over time, honestly, I think the Tay Flipper and the uh, Cycloid feel, well, feel very similar in terms of just the actual pivot mechanism. Um, the one thing that the Cycloid very much reigns supreme with, with its pivots, is tolerances, because bearings just offer much better tolerances than basically everything else um so of course there's barely any flex or barely any play on the cycloid and then the tape flipper just by nature has a little bit more play um so definitely major major plus is the tolerances and it's very smooth it's definitely super smooth but honestly after a while um i kind of stopped like immediately noticing like oh this is this is crazy smooth it's just kind of you know, it just kind of feels like, kind of just like the tape flipper does, um, but with better tolerances. I think overall, my preference is still towards the tape flipper, because I feel like it has a little bit more, it's just a little more interesting with its size. Um, they fe they both feel incredibly smooth, well balanced. Uh, I think I like the tape flipper balance a little bit more, because it's a little more neutral. Uh, to be fair, the uh, cycloid does have a little bit of an adjustable balance. I haven't gotten to try it yet, um, so I'm not going to say for sure which balance I like more. Um, but just size-wise, I think the Tay Flipper kind of uh, makes me have a little more fun with it. And I've always liked just really big knives. That's part of the reason why I like Machine Wise's stuff so much is because his knives are like like a half inch longer than most of the other knives that I've used. Um, and I just kind of got used to that with my Marin Light. So, uh, big knives are just something that I really, really enjoy. So, um, that's kind of why I like the tape flipper a little bit more. Um, but overall, how I see it is, yeah, you can see the size comparison here. Uh, it is, it's quite a difference, honestly. The tape flipper is a huge guy. Um, and also I've just had, I haven't talked to Zippy much, but I've had, uh, 
a ton of conversations with Tay and a lot of good, um, a lot of good, uh, just experiences in general. So maybe I'm a little bit biased because he's just one of the homies now. Um, so maybe there's a little bit of a bias there, but I think overall that doesn't change, that doesn't change how the actual knives themselves feel. And even before I had talked to Tay, when Ethan like first got here, um, and it was before all the stuff has, had been happening with the knot scales, um, I still like the Tay flipper a little bit more. But the um, the cycloid to me is kind of like uh, basically just like the squiddy destroyer, and the tape flipper I kind of see is it's kind of its own little thing because it is very much different from the uh, the squiddies. It's a much bigger, much weirder knife. But the uh, the cycloid on the other hand feels more of like a standard natural kind of size, um, and I feel like. The, the, I can't show my Squiddy because it's currently with something on it that is yet to be revealed. Um, but the Squiddy compared to the Cycloid, it's, it's just not even really close, honestly. Um, Cycloid has much better grip, much better flipping, uh, better tolerances, balance is better. So Squiddy, uh, or the Cycloid, definitely a major win over the Squiddy. And the Cycloid to the Tay Flipper, I feel is entirely personal preference. Literally, Ethan likes the Cycloid more, I like the Tay Flipper more, and we both agree, like, these are both super sick. Um, it's just a matter of preference. These are weird to do two-ended stuff with. Um, but overall, yeah, I think the Cycloid's very sick. Uh, it's a good price point. 70 bucks is, um, for the amount of work that is put into it, I think a lot of people just kind of think, um, it's an issue I see with people talking about Tay Flippers as well, and any 3D printed battle song, really, is a lot of people think they're just paying for the materials. You're not. I mean, this thing, materials-wise, probably cost it a few dollars at the most to make. What you are paying for is the incredible amount of work, effort, and just straight-up manpower that goes into pumping these things out when you are quite literally just one person in their room making it. Um, I don't think people realize that uh, designing and assembling one of these, especially the designing phase, takes so long and having someone spend that much time to give us a product that actually works really well and is very fun to flip, it's only fair that, that we pay them what they ask for and kind of, uh, and, and pay our part, do our part to, uh, to give these guys support since they're putting so much effort into actually making competent 3D printed balance songs. Because there are plenty of 3D printed balance songs that are straight up just not good. Um, but but these guys are putting in the work. Zippy especially is trying something new with the bus, with the uh, bearing pivot systems, um, doing like a Chanwich kind of design. He's trying something a little different, uh, which I, I super I majorly respect. Um, of course, bearings aren't like a new invention. There's been bearings in ballast songs for forever, um, but putting them in a 3D printed ballast song is pretty cool to see. Um, so props to him for uh, kind of trying something different. Uh, rather than going with just the normal washers. So, uh, yeah, the Cycloid's pretty cool. I like the Tay Flipper just a little bit more, just because the size uh, feels a little more fun to me. Uh, but overall, Cycloid's very sick. Much better than the Squiddies are. Um, and honestly, uh, I think if you like the design of them and you like just kind of the standard... Where's my Nautilus? Is my Nautilus in here? No, where's my Nautilus? Nautilus is over on your desk. I can't show my desk. The Squiddy's on there, which I literally just talked about. I can't show. You need me to grab, grab, the grab my Nautilus. Grab my Nautilus. Oh, tiny tail. Oh, my goodness. Well, do you want me to get in trouble with the person who made it for doxing it? Here you oh. go. Thank you, sir. So, of course, the Nautilus size comparison. They are about the same. Uh, maybe the Cycloid's actually just a tiny bit longer. Uh, but that's nothing compared to how big the... Uh, the Tay Flipper is. So yeah, size-wise, it's very standard. Uh, flips really, really smooth, really nice. Um, but to me, it's kind of lacking a little bit of that flair that I like out of, uh, out of that I like out of my battle songs, which is a very common theme with me. I'm not even worried about the best flipping experience ever. I just like something fun and something interesting. Um, so I feel like just the uh, the the one called the or the one thing that suits that really well in the Tay Flipper is its size and its weight distribution just because it is so big and it's running on like actual solid uh, Zen pins and stuff like that. Um, and the, the Cycloid just kind of doesn't 
have that kind of extra little flair for me. Uh, but that's just me, of course. I know a lot of people who uh, absolutely love the Cycloid, and it's a really, really solid 3D printed battle song. The Tay Flipper and the Cycloid, both especially, are absolutely insane for um, for being 3D printed. It's honestly insane how good these things are. Um, and I think price-wise, price is pretty fair. Uh, I have no real complaints about the price. You are paying for the amount of work and effort that goes into assembling these. Um, so, price is good. They both flip really, really good. Uh, I think the Cycloid is the smoother of the two. Uh, I just feel in the hands. Honestly, the pivots, I can't really tell too much of a difference at this point. I know Ethan's is a little broken in. He said out of the box it was better. Um, but, I mean, if you're going to have it, you're probably going to break it in. So, kind of going off of that, uh, over time, it seems that they kind of even out to, to both feel pretty equal. Um, but just feeling the hand, the, the cycloid is a lot smoother. All the edges are a little bit better rounded. Um, but, yeah, o overall, I do like the cycloid a lot. Um, I think it's really cool. I think the color combinations he's doing are really nice. Uh, the Especially, I think it was the prickly pear one, which was like teal and pink and stuff like that. That's like my favorite color combination. So, yeah, I actually I love the colors he's doing. I like that he can get like that, that three-tone kind of thing because he does have the Chanwich. Um, so... Yeah, very cool knife. Very, very unique uh, design-wise, which I really, really appreciate. Um, so shout out to Zippy for making something that is very interesting and very cool uh, design-wise. I wish there was a little bit something extra flipping-wise, but that's just me. Um, I, I, I can't really put my finger on what it is. I think it's just... I'm so used to the size of some other knives, especially like the Tay Flipper and the Marin, which are long. Um, I think I'm just so used to some other things, so it feels a little a little small to me, but it is still like a f normal sized knife. I don't know why it just feels small to me. But yeah, anyways, it's about it. Overall, really like it. Um, and I think it's really solid for the price it's at. Way better than a Squiddy Bee. Uh, I would definitely recommend getting a Cyclade over a Squiddy Bee uh, any day of the week. So, uh, so there you go. Um, thank you all for watching. Uh, I appreciate you stopping by. Check out the podcast episode three with Brandon Baker if you haven't seen it already. That was a very, very fun episode. Uh, we plan to have a lot more guests on there very soon. So, uh, yeah. Thank you all for watching, and I will talk to you all again very soon, hopefully. Bye-bye.